Hello everyone, welcome to this week's crystal reading. Um, I've already uh, drawn the crystals that I was selected to for this week and I also want to thank all of you for your positive feedback last week um, in terms of the reading resonating. Um, each week, as I mentioned last week, I tune in uh, to connect with what's energetically happening. Uh, Frequency-wise, this coming week, uh, which guidance, information, uh, crystal medicine can be of best service to people at this time. Uh, so the three crystals uh, that came through for this week are Carnelian, Hemimorphite, and Menelite, also known as Fairy Stone. And so I'm going to start with carnelian because I, I'm dealing very much in the present here in terms of energies that can be of service to us now, guidance that can be of service to us now as we co-create our future reality. So with carnelian, we've got the red and orange colorways. Uh, this is also a fire element stone. And so with the fire element, uh, we're dealing with transformation, with passion, with alchemical change, which means really powerful, deep, core, fundamental changes. The orange and the red ray resonate very powerfully with our root and sacral chakras, the root chakra uh, being our foundation, the foundation of our lives, the foundation of our bodies, ourselves, um, our home, our ability to provide for ourselves and survive, our culture, our family, our tribe, um, and our health. Uh, the orange ray the sacral chakra that's our emotional storehouse our powerhouse that's also the water element which is interesting the root being earth and uh, uh, the sacral being the water element also combining with um, that that transformative power of fire which means we're looking at um, some transformational area you know energies in these areas of our lives and selves the earth again being you know our physicality our abundance of uh, the bones of our lives if you will um and then our emotional selves and so in our relationships which is also the sacral chakra relationships how we relate to each other through uh, not just our emotions but also through physicality and intimacy uh, great creative energies here too that are represented um, with carnelian so tuning into this carnelian to see uh, what guidance, uh, what guidance I channel from um, its energy, from its consciousness. So we are in a period of, we are in a period of great change. It's great change in a place of stasis. And so this stasis, how it can serve us, uh, on you know a really fundamental level is again taking the time to really look at ourselves in these very fundamental core ways in terms of the foundation of our lives in terms of our emotional selves our feeling selves also our sensual selves reorienting in terms of what is priority what is priority for us in terms of our lives in terms of the you know I want to say the basics, but not so much the basics. Again, the bone, the bones, the structure of our lives. What needs to be restructured? What needs to be changed? Um, and also looking at our feeling selves in terms of what are our true emotional needs? What are our true emotional priorities? There has been such an enormous paradigm shift. And what the Carnelian says, you know, is saying is we need to get back down to our core basics, but in a very raw, fundamental, authentic way because the fire element of this crystal is very much about, you know, burning away illusions, burning away bullshit, if you will, uh, burning away the things that we've held on to, you know, in the past that we thought were important and really just letting that fall away. And of course, we're speaking figuratively, not literally, but letting that all fall away so we can come back into our core, uh, our core authentic selves and really 
really connect with what is most important, really start to orient and direct ourselves in this way with passion, with courage, because we, while we are still in a pace, a place of stasis, for some of us, it's regenerative stasis. Um, this is a time to really have that introspection, to really get clear um, and not, you know, not just so much the conversation about letting go of what no longer serves, because once you let that go, you have to be with what's left and what's most important. So it's like coming down again to like the marrow of the bone of who we are and taking time to get clear on that this week, because as we start to move back into our lives, which again, you know, timelines can change. I see this being like at least another, you know, I see 30, so I guess it could be at least another 30 days, um, but could be more, you know, this keeps shifting and changing. Um, but as we come back out, we need to come back out passionately connected to what truly matters. And so working with Carnelian this week can be of service to you in terms of that. Now with hemimorphite, you know, this is <laughs> very, very different. Um, um, hemimorphite is very air. It's very water in terms of its uh, uh, energy, in terms of its, its resonance. It's got this beautiful sort of lavender shade to it with little bits of blue and deeper purple, some pink in here. So we're getting very much into the realm of the spirit, getting very much into the realm of fairy dust, if you will, and our intuitive selves and our psychic selves, but in a place that is sort of untouched uh, by what uh, what is happening around us and very, you know, very different, you know, we, we might want to say separate from, you know, what Carnelian was, was relating to and talking to, but of course there is no separation. Everything is part of it. So here we've got, you know, we've got third eye chakra, we've got crown chakra, we've got a little bit of heart and throat. And so it's drawing our spirit into the conversation. It's drawing our, again, our creative selves, but created from a place of whimsy, created from a place of imagination, which is interesting if we consider the fact that coming back into a place of authentic core resonance and grounding in that, where does spirit want to guide us from here? What can we seek to create? So tuning into the energy frequency of this crystal right away, whew, feel that shoot off. There's a really beautiful um, goddess element to this too, the sacred feminine, which is interesting within the context of the Carnelian conversation in terms of talking about the bones, talking about the structure, which is very sacred masculine. So we've got these two, and oh, I'm getting chills. We've got these two energies that are coming in for us this week and saying, let's no longer be in a conversation where spirit is separate from matter. Spirit and matter are intertwined. Part of what has created so much struggle and challenge for human beings, which of course then was what, you know, spread to the rest of the world um, and, and the rest of nature is this constant belief and separation between spirit and matter, but they are intertwined just as the sacred masculine and feminine are intertwined. So as we're coming into this core place of authentic resonance, it's really a, an alignment between all parts of ourselves, our spiritual selves, our mental selves, you know, including the psychic and the cognitive, our, our ability to express and create our feeling selves, um, and then and then the physical and how all of that can be intertwined and guided. So as we're getting into this formal, sort of more structured, core, authentic place in terms of the bones of our lives, we're then being encouraged to feel Fill that vessel, metaphysically speaking, with spirit, with intuition, with the sacred feminine, which is that divine flow of energy and saying, okay, so now that we're in this place and now we're filling with spirit, we're letting spirit energize us. We're letting spirit guide us through this next phase, uh, through this next period of our lives. And then finally coming to Menelite. Um, and as I said, Menelite is, is also referred to uh, fairy stone. And here, you know, we're dealing with rock. <laughs> you know, this is 
um, rock, just even that, that gray shade, which really kind of brings us into that more neutral place, connection with nature, connection with our own inner nature, connecting to the world through nature. Um, a, a lot of us in our healing and recovery process are going to desperately need that connection to nature. And it's not just about, you know, the whole cabin fever thing that, you know, many people might be experiencing and wanting to get out into the world. But we deeply, deeply, deeply need to reconnect with the world and the nature that made us, that sustains us, that is everything that we are and provides everything that we are and honoring this connection um and so again tuning in with uh menolite and the first word that comes through really interestingly enough is medicine what's your spirit medicine so you know there's been understandably in incredibly heavy focus on physical health um, um, and, and the physical needs of our health and staying healthy and getting healthy and trying to help people heal. Um, and, and even as I tune into that, I feel just the incredible bone deep exhaustion of the people, you know, the front like work, front like workers, the hospital workers who have just been working tirelessly, tirelessly to take care of people, to help people, um, you know, and, and, and oftentimes to the detriment of their own care and their own needs. And so, you know, I'm really, really feeling this um, and feeling how, you know, that energy resonance, how people are also feeling that. But you know, coming into that, you know, as we continue to move through this and as we focus on, um, um, you know, physical health and need and well-being, which again comes back to that first conversation with Carnelian, interestingly enough, this is also tying in spirit, mental health. There is going to need to be an increase of focus and care on mental health and on spirit health as we continue to move through this phase as we start to um come out there's a breaking point that's hitting and sadly we've even seen this here in canada terrible awful mass shooting um on our east coast which is heartbreaking it's devastating it's scary but you know these these snapping points these breaking points and this is not a, a fear-mongering thing this is not you know i'll be worried you know violence is going to start to erupt um what this is is it's about mental health how important our mental health is what is your spirit medicine? What is your mental health medicine? How can you take care of yourself on that level? How can you contribute to the care and support of others? And what do you need to thrive as a spirit, as a spiritual being? Do you need to reconnect with your church? Do you need to reconnect with your healer? Do you need to reconnect with what your faith is? And again, I'm being pulled into the nature conversation. Nature is our greatest healer and it doesn't matter what you believe in. It doesn't matter what you believe in. Nature is our greatest healer. Spending time with nature can help us to heal. So there is this encouragement, um, you know, and for now, again, for people who are in lockdown, who are in shutdown, that may not be possible for right now. So what can you focus on? What can you connect with? How can you come into a mindset that is more positive, that is more uh, 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 healthy, that is more, uh, uh, you know, supportive and sustainable of who you are? Um, but, but as we come out, finding that medicine, reconnecting with the earth, and even doing that now, we can do that now through uh, meditation. We can do that now through um, directed focus of intention and energy connecting with that earth resonance um, to help us heal, to help us restore and heal on these levels as well. Um, so that's the reading. That's the reading for this week. Um, and um, I, I know that some of you won't have, you know, all of these crystals, probably hemimorphite and menolite in particular, and, and you know, may, may ask for substitutions. And so what I'm going to suggest to you is listen to the reading, really connect with the vibes and the guidance of the reading. And then just from a neutral place, then look at your crystal collection, then look at what you have and see what you feel drawn to.
based on that intention and that energy red resonance and you'll find the right crystals for you to work with this week um, and for those of you who have been inquiring yeah i do teach how to do this this course is in my academy right now pro crystal reader where i teach crystal readings um, and it's actually discounted right now to make it more accessible so if you're interested in that hit the link in my bio i'll be back next week blessings